Welcome back to our second video. This time we are going to talk about uh, what are called personal pronouns. The words which stand for I, you, he and so on. So you see, they are all here. We begin with Anna. Anna stands for I. Then we have two forms, Nta and as we already said, Nta is you when talking to, uh, to a man, while uh, Nti is for talking to a woman. In third person, it's, we have a, 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 a he form, which is Hoa, a she form, which is Hea. There is no it form. Hmm? When you have to have it in English, you say Hoa. In Moroccan Arabic. In the plural we have Hna for we, Ntuma you men or women, Huma they men or women. Take care to this sound which we already saw. This is, this is the harsh H. Ha. So be careful and say Hna Hna, hna, because if you say hna with light H, you mean here. Notice the difference between hna and hna. Hna, hna. So we will see that with those personal pronouns, we are able to do a, a very simple thing, which is called nominal sentence. You know, to say I am something. And you see, in the nominal sentence in Arabic, there is no verb to be, it's not expressed. The verb to be exists, but it's not used in present tense. For example, Ana Farhan. Farhan, take care to the ha. Ana Farhan, I happy. You translate that, that I am happy. It's very simple. I'm not trying to tell you that Arabic is an easy language. There's no easy language. An easy language is for an easy people and none of us is easy. We all need a complicated language in order to express ourselves. But what is simple, we will present it as it is simple. So this is a nominal sentence. It has to be translated, I am happy. You do the same with the other pronouns. For, for instance, Nta Farhan. You happy, which means you are happy. If I want to say the same thing to a, a woman, I have to use the corresponding pronoun which is Nti, you woman, Farhana. Pay attention, this is the feminine form of the adjective. A man say Anna Farhan. A woman says Anna Farhana. Nta Farhan. Nti Farhana. I do the same with in third person with Hua. Hua Farhan. I continue with Hia. Pay attention. Farhana. Hia Farhana. Hia is a woman, so I have to use the feminine form of the adjective Farhan. So it's all. Anna Farhan. Nsa Farhan. Nsi Farhana. Hua Farhan. Hia Farhana. It's not that complicated as you see. Now let's move to the plural. In order to say we are happy, we have to use the form Hna, which is uh, we. Farhanin. In here is the plural of Farhan. We are more than one, three persons, so I have to use the plural of Farhan. Hna Farhanin. The same for Ntuma, you plural. Ntuma Farhanin. Ntuma. Farhanin. And finally, Huma Farhanin. 
Huma Farhanin. I think it's clear. This is a nominal sentence. Starting from that, I can do two other things. So, in order to obtain an interrogative nominal sentence, I have to use this particle wash. Wash, we remember that that S with that little sign over it means sh. It's called sheen in Arabic. It corresponds exactly to sh in English. Wash. Wash is not uh, easily translatable. It's a kind of is it or do you, does it. This is an example. We know that Nsafrhan stays for you are happy. Wash Nsafrhan, are you happy? It's a question. Wash Nsafrhan, I'm now talking to a, a woman, so I will ask her. Wash Nsi Farhana. Don't remember the, the feminine form. Wash Nsi Farhan. Wash Nsi Farhana. In third person, it's just Wash Hua Farhan. Is he happy? Wash Hua Farhan. And as for is she happy? I have to say Wash. Hiya Farhana Wash Hiya Feminine Farhana Hua Farhan Hiya Farhana We are in the plural I am asking a group of person if they are happy So I say Wash Ntsuma Farhanin Farhanin which remember is the plural of Farhan So from the adjective Farhan, we have to remember three things. The singular Farhan, the feminine Farhana, and the plural Farhanin. Wajnsuma Farhanin. And finally, are they happy? Will be Wash Huma Farhanin. Wash Huma Farhanin. We have a third possibility which is now to make a negative nominal sentence in order to say I'm not happy so this is also very simple in order to say I am not happy you have to introduce this word mashi which stands for not so ana mashi farhan ana mashi farhan literally is I'm not happy and means I am not happy. In second person, of course, you have to say, if talking to a man, in second feminine form, you just have to change in in si and remember that she's a, that in si is you, uh, female. So, in si, mashi farhana with a feminine termination. Nti mashi farhana. Nti mashi farhana. I can add. I can add and command. Mskina. Mskina. Which is poor. Poor girl. Poor friend. Mskina. Mskina, as you have, as you can imagine, is a feminine. The corresponding masculine is miskin. Nti mashi farhana miskina. If I saw, if I say nta mashi farhan miskin. If we have to say that he is not happy, we'll have to use huwa mashi farhan. Huwa mashi farhan miskin. If she is not Happy, it will be simply here, Mashi Farhana. We are not happy. We'll you, we will use Hna, Mashi, which doesn't change. Farhanin, Farhanin, which is the plural. Hna, Mashi Farhanin. You, plural, are not happy. Ntuma, Mashi Farhanin. Ntuma, 
ماشي فرحاني and now if I want to add something like مسكين which is a مسكين for a man مسكينة for a woman for the plural we use مساكن مساكن yes because you'll, uh, and you'll see very soon that the formation of the plural in Arabic is not always very predictable so, so now Try to remember Farhan, Farhana, Farhanin, which is a regular formation. Mskin, Mskina, but Msekin for the plural, which is called a broken plural. Don't ask anymore. We'll, we'll talk about it next time. Msekin. The same for the third plural. Homa Mashif Hanin. Homa Mashif Hanin. Msekin. So now that we are able to do some nominal sentences, uh, I give you uh, three further adjectives which can be very useful. The first has to be read Mughribi, Mughribi, and you see a new sound which is written as G with a dot over it. This sound is in the, the name of the letter in, in Arabic is Rain. It's pronounced like Ra. Ra, Ri, Ru. As you notice, it's a kind of French of German R. Or in northern Germany, you can hear for uh, Tag instead of Tag for day. So, Maghribi, which is Moroccan. Moroccan, which is derived from the word Maghrib, Maghrib, which is the name of Morocco. In Moroccan Arabic, we say the Morocco with the article Maghrib, Maghribi, Moroccan. Here, after the comma, you see Ya. Yeah. This means that in order to have the feminine of Maghribi, you say Maghribiya. Anna Maghribiya. I, woman, am a Moroccan. I'm Moroccan. Learn also Inglisi, English, or British. Inglisi, Wesh, Nta, Inglisi. Are you English? Wesh, Nti, Inglisiya. Are you feminine uh, English or British? And finally, Taliani. Taliani, which they care in the English with a, an emphatic ta. It's not ta, it's ta. Ta, you may take in your throat. Ta. Taliani from Italia. Hmm? We don't say Italia, but Italia. Why not ask me? So, from Italia we have Anna Taliani, and Nta Taliani, Nti Taliani, Ya. Hua Taliani, Hia Meshi Taliani, Ya. Anna Meshi Taliani. 